Kristen Stewart. That will be the newest guest on Hot Ones tomorrow. You know, this is just one of those instances where, well, I've explained this before. Usually it's someone I know or someone I don't know who's usually a guest, right? Well, for that, there's subcategories of that. There's subcategories. See, Kristen Stewart is the kind of guest where I obviously know she is, because otherwise we would have even said, said her name in the opening of this video, but she's the person I wouldn't expect to be on Hot Ones. Meanwhile, like, there are people who I do expect to be on Hot Ones, they just haven't been there yet. So, yeah, Kristen Stewart. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, Kristen Stewart, you know, is a Hollywood actress who unfortunately became more infamous than famous. I mean, granted, you can't, I think it was Dave, Ch Dave Chappelle once said, you can't be unfamous, but you can be infamous. And the thing that Kristen Stewart's most famous or infamous for is being Bella in the Twilight movies, which are horrible movies, by the way. We'll never watch them, never have watched them, have no interest in watching them. So with that in mind, I actually said this during one of my movies. I think it might have been for, um, for Booksmart, I think. Or one movie that I saw, I forget. But Christian Stewart is now going to be in the new Charlie's Angels movie that is coming out, you know, this week. In fact, you know what? Hold on, I'm just going to look it up on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. Rotten Tomatoes. Just get to the site, please. Okay, so as of right now, Charlie's Angels has a 63% on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay, it's... That's, 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 that's average. It's pretty good. I mean, considering the, um, again, the, um, the sort of, uh, you know, I, I, I keep saying the word inf infamous past in terms of acting roles like Kristen Stewart has, you know, you would think this would sort of be kind of a, a bomb, but, you know, as of right now, 63% of Ron Tomatoes, I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, you would think it'd be a little bit better, right? Um, but then again, looking at the cast, I mean, El I mean Elizabeth Banks, uh, you know, produced it. Um, I think she, yeah, she, yeah, I think she directed. You know, Naomi Scott, Ella Balinska, you know, Diamond Hunt. I mean, it's got a great cast, a really great cast. So. Yeah, yeah, Elizabeth Banks have directed the movie as well. So, in that regard, I can't really get, you know, too worried because it does look pretty, um, uh, pretty promising. I have seen the trailers for it. I mean, I don't know if I'll ever get an opportunity to watch it, but, you know, it's something I'll definitely, you know, consider. Of course, again, it all really is going to come down because... From what I see here, Kristen Stewart clearly has top billing. And again, last time she had top billing was in the Twilight movies. And it wasn't just the fact that the movies were bad. Kristen Stewart's performance was bad. See, unfortunately for her, she, um, she, her facial expression is actually a similar problem to what I have as well. It's like, like, she think like she looks like this all the time. Basically, when she's acting, she appears deadpan. But I've seen her in other movies where she's clearly a lot better than the material in Twilight gives her. So it, it's not just her; it's the material. So, yeah, Kristen Stewart. Good luck on you know hot ones tomorrow. I mean. I don't know what your tolerance of spicy food is, but, you know, you are going to need some good luck because, again, those wings can be very unforgiving. 
excuse me. That being said, though, first we feast. Hit me up. I would love to be on hot ones for you. Um. So yeah, happy hump day, everybody. Yes, it is hump day. We are already at hump day. It's already on November thirteenth, and tomorrow my nephews will be one week old, which means I'm getting old. I'm so sad. Um. So, <laughs> yeah, it, uh, it's pretty, uh, again, you know, I actually tried looking to see if there was a new One Piece manga chapter, but there's not. Again, folks are going to have to wait until, I wish we could just, I'm trying to cheat the system here, but I just can't. Oh, well, guess I'll have to wait just like everybody else, which is fine, I mean. You know, it'll make the wait all the more worth it. Especially considering that we literally ended the last chapter on what the, what Orochi looks like then, as opposed to the fact that he is the evil Shogun now. So, yeah, again, that's, again, that's another problem with being in flashback mode, is what I like to call it. It's like, if we are in the middle of a flashback in One Piece, and there's a break, you think, okay, well, that means the story of the Flash, but I'm not sure. No, wait, it's One Piece. The story's going to be going for a while now. So, yeah. But again, you know, it's not all bad. It just increases the chances of uh, the One Piece manga chapters in my videos reaching a thousand simultaneously. So, yeah, there's, uh, there's that. Um, you know what? I did say around 4th of July weekend, because again, 4th of July was when chapter 948 came out. And, you know, obviously one year, which is 52 weeks, you know, that would be, you know, you know 52 plus 948 is 1,000. So again, regard, you know, provided that there weren't any breaks, which obviously there have been a couple, One Piece would have reached 1,000 on 4th of July of, you know, 2020, which would be pretty cool. But that's not the case. I forget how many breaks we've had so far. I presume definitely more than three, I believe, but less than seven. So somewhere in that neighborhood. Again, you'd have to look at my videos to see when, they, when I talk about them having a break, so, yeah, um, there's that, oh, by the way, don't mind the uh, nice shirt, it's not really for anything, it's just, I want to stay bundled up even more, because it's cold out, the snow is still sticking, out. Well, I say the snow is still sticking, there's still snow out, but, um, actually, let me, let me look at my window for, let me just try at the window for a second, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's still snow there, but, you know, some of it's either melted or, you know, it's just there because, you know, snow plows don't really, don't really know what they're doing. Um, yep, that, uh, so, that, I was going to say that escalated quickly, but that would require that the snow got worse. So, I guess that de-escalated quickly? Actually, hold on. I want to look up one quick thing. Um. Okay. Uh. Apparently, the uh, two best. Um. Uh. Hold on. Okay, so it appears that the two biggest uh, opposites would be either plunge or shrink. So, yeah, I guess it shrinked quickly. Well, snow doesn't melt, so the amount would shrink. Yeah, that works. Why not? Um, yeah. There's, um, there's that. Let's see. Oh, by the way, I totally think I may have just screwed up how many days I have until Rita's opens again. 
Because they keep thinking that Reeves is going to open the first weekend of March, which it does. But the problem is, the first weekend of March isn't until the 6th of March. So that means we have to wait even longer. Unless they reopen on February 28th, which will be pretty cool. Yeah, because um, next year's a leap year. Yeah, it's the first year I've, first time we, yeah, 2020 will be the first year I've done videos and there'll be one extra day more because of the leap year. Although, that does bring up uh, a story I do have. It was, because uh, for those of you guys who don't know, 2012 was the year that the world was supposed to end. Because the Mayan, because the Mayan calendar predicted that, um, you know, on December 23rd, 2012, the world is going to go through a great change or end or something to that degree. Well, here's the thing. When the Mayans invented that calendar, and keep in mind, this was leap year day of 2012. So February 29th, 2012. I'm actually in my uh, theater class at Gettysburg College. This is my junior year. And I overhear two girls having a conversation about, you know, the whole leap year thing. And then... One of the girls had said that when the Mayans created that calendar, they didn't even remotely consider the possibility of us having leap year days. So, by that logic, 2012, December, December 23rd, 2012, had already happened. And we're still here. So, yeah, there's that. I also do believe they... I do also believe that they specifically said that this time would have been like August of 2013 already. So, again, leap years. Who knew? Um, oh, oh. Yeah, it's going to be... Holy cow. I actually just look back on Rotten Tomatoes right now, and I'm looking at the movies next week. Frozen 2 doesn't have a score yet, obviously, but A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood has a 97. The Irishman, a 96. Some movie called Mickey and the Bear has a 100%. Well, let me guess. Limited theatrical release? Yep, limited theatrical release. Hold on, is The Irishman getting a widescreen release? It better. I would love to see The Irishman in the theater. Oh, limited release only. What about a beautiful day in the neighborhood? Are we getting a limited release? No, we are not. Hooray! I'll have two movies to see next week. I'm looking forward to. Yeah, I get the feeling Tom Hanks is going to get the Oscar for um, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. But then again, you know, it's Tom Hanks portraying the nicest guy in all of, you know, show business. Which, I mean, it's Mr. Roger. Now, what, what, what do you want me to do? That being said, I did watch some of Mr. Rogers back then, but again, I was a dumb kid, so I had, like, no idea. Although I do remember it was 2003, because I was uh, taking health class, and they talked, and we talked about it in that health class in middle school, when Mr. Rogers had passed away. So, I remember the world just being like, like a, like, man, the world's acting as if someone, like, like Paul McCartney had died or something. Which, now I hope Paul McCartney really doesn't die. Then again, I hope a lot of stars and actresses don't, actors and actresses don't die. Although it does remind me, a while ago there was a scare about how Betty White died, dies in her basement, where they spell dies like D-Y-E-S, and what they mean is that she dyes her hair. Although, with that being said, I do have a protocol. Or if that dark day ever does come and Betty White does, in fact, pass on. That is, I will buy lots of tissues. I will buy lots of ice cream. I will head back here and marathon the Golden Girls, marathon hot in Cleveland, and then cry. Hey, listen, that's my protocol. Hey, listen, I will be prepared, darn it, for when that happens. There we go. Hey, not... Yeah, there we go. Looks so awkward. Yeah. Yeah, well. I guess it is what it is. It's been bothering me all day. 
All morning, I should say. So, uh, like, favorite, share, hit that subscribe button. You know, follow me in the social media platforms. Turn on those notifications on YouTube. I am very humble. Let me make this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy today. I'm hopefully you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful hump day. And remember, if you guys are on Taco Channel, it's going to be here in London here. And I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.